Mm-hmm. This might be a bad idea. I'm going to the All For One concert tonight. Justin's coming to pick me up. I peeled my ass out of bed and just tried to make myself look nice. I put a little bit of makeup on, but you can't tell. I wear the most minimal amount of makeup, so it never really looks like I'm wearing makeup. Also, I'm very lazy, so I'm just... I want the most basic setup going on. It is so windy out today. It's really... Okay, she's having she's having a moment. Jocelyn took me to the Four Seasons for brunch, and we had such a good time. We were there for like, we were there for hours, just, just you know, hanging out, catching up. It's always such a good feeling when you get together with. A good friend of yours who knows your history and has known you for so long and it's just so like comfortable and like warming and so I had such a good time and um, then I spent some time with her family I call them my Hanai family because I they basically like raised me because I had such a kind of like a rough childhood I was always over at their house and they took care of me and I was like this. They basically adopted me. Now I'm about to go and have dinner with my friend and it's been a really like chill birthday weekend so far. What did I do yesterday? How am I forgetting what I've been doing? Oh, okay, wait. Yes, the all for... I can't believe I forgot this. The all for one concert was last night. I went with Jocelyn for that too. And tomorrow I have the David Sedaris show, which I'm really, really excited about. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. And it's just so perfect that he's coming on my birthday. He's one of my favorite authors. He's such an inspiration. I was listening to Dax Shepard's podcast called Armchair Expert. David Sedaris was on it and he called David a national treasure and it's so true just like Betty White is a national treasure okay so it is my birthday today and I am going to spend time with my family then I have the David Sedaris show tonight which I am so stoked for I'm so excited I'm really looking forward to it and then I have to go back to work I had such a nice long three-day weekend and um, I do really appreciate when my birthday comes around. I, I never like the attention on me, so when it's my birthday, there's actually a valid reason. Otherwise, I feel like taking the spotlight off of something, someone else. If we're having a conversation and people are sort of focused on, on me in that moment, I feel very uncomfortable and I feel like, let's, like I'll, I'll deflect. I know, my kitchen is such a mess right now. I'm just enjoying my smoothie because I realized we're not going to have lunch until 12.30 and it's 9 and I don't want to starve. Um, I get hypoglycemic. When I'm hungry, I get really shaky and really hangry and it's not good. Oh. I still have Ramsey. She's still with me. This place is such a mess. I know, it just, I live very minimally, but the thing about minimalism or minimal living is that you don't have a ton of storage. And I converted one of my dresser drawers to be kind of a drunk junk drawer. And that, that was such a game changer, but everything else is just still kind of like laying outside. And I should, I should move stuff into the closet um, now that I have the entire closet and yeah, we're taking my mom to her um, doctor's appointment and I think we were supposed to go like now. I think the appointment's like at 9.15 and it's 8.57. I better put this in a to-go cup. All right, she's ready for me. Today is Tuesday, I'm back at work. It's after my birthday and I feel kind of weird. It was just a super chill birthday. I didn't do anything crazy, which is fine. 
I think now that I'm 32, there's no desire in me that wants it to be like this big crazy party. I think in your 20s, you want it to be party time all the time, but that's just not for me anymore. Now the weekend is over and I'm feeling a little blue, feeling sad all over again, but the key is to stay distracted and to stay busy. Oh God, I have to drive into this traffic now. Hopefully they'll let me in. What are you going to Surprise. You got your wish, she cried. They wanted to surprise. 